You might be surprised that a sauropod toy as old-fashioned as this shows skin armor, but we've actually known about sauropod osteoderms since this depiction was state-of-the-art. In the mid-19th century, Mantell described impressions of a sauropod from Britain whose pavement sure looked like the ossicles that we find in armored sauropods, but it turns out that was just an impression of feature scales. At the turn of the 20th century, Depere described a large flat osteoderm from a sauropod from Madagascar, but then in the 20s that was reinterpreted as ankylosaur remains, as were any subsequent sauropod armor that we happened across. Sauropod osteoderms were only incontrovertibly established in 1980 with the description of Saltosaurus, and in a surprising twist, this toy postdates that discovery. This is from the 80s, and I don't know if the manufacturer intended this, but the arrangement of the larger nodules is consistent with how workers reconstructed the arrangement of Saltosaurus's armor, with large osteoderms irregularly spaced over the back and hip. It's pretty accurate for the time, if only they hadn't labeled it Brontosaurus. <laughs> 